I'm Carl Gilbertson, and I've uh, been, I was born and raised in the Peace Country, and I've been drawing since I was two years old, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and my mom kept the little drawing of her hatchback that I did when I was two years old and ever since then. So born and raised here in the area and then um, obviously really big into art as I was growing up. Um, and then when it came time to, you know, decide on what I was going to do after high school, figured, you know, I could go do something with that, you know, try and find a career that was uh, that I was passionate about. So went off to Calgary and studied at the Alberta College of Art and Design for four years. Ended up graduating there, moving back up here to Dawson, uh, you know, to get married, have kids and uh, currently work as a web designer graphic designer at a shop here in the peace country and it's been good my mom was very creative when she was young and there's like you know there was some paintings and drawings in in my grandma's house of that my mom had done and so she had kind of an artistic bent as well and my dad was kind of as well, like not super, like not overly, but um, I remember hearing that he was good into like penmanship and like calligraphy when he was younger. He's not quite as artistic as, as my mom was, but uh, he was certainly open to it. And then, um, you know, my mom encouraged it. And so... I met Mike uh, back when uh, we were in third grade. So I knew Mike quite early on. And so I have some fond memories of like going over to his place uh, when we were kids and like trying to make comic books, like me and him. Mike was into drawing a little bit when he was younger too. You know, working out of the uh, How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way book. And uh, which is funny because Jack actually picked that up not too long ago. And I was like, oh man, this is nostalgia for me like you know drawing used to draw comics and then like you know draw like five pages and get bored and then next week we'd try something else kind of thing but it was good times and I love going over there because his mom was into drawing obviously and into art and she had a, a nice big drawing table that we used to use when we were over there so it's really cool Being the artistic guy, people would like see me drawing in my notebooks and stuff and be like, are you going to be an artist when you grow up? And I'm like, oh, well, maybe I that'd be cool. But uh, like that was kind of the only real thought about it was artist, which is, you know, obviously a fairly nebulous term. So I didn't really think about it too hard until I got into high school. But then that's kind of when I even started getting more aware of things like concept art right where thinking about all these commercial products out there like media that whether it be games or movies or whatever that require tons of art on the back end right so I sort of had a rough idea when I went off to ACAD, right? And then with the idea that, you know, I'm going to figure it out once I get there, once I see, you know, what's sort of available. And like painting was definitely one of the things I considered when I was there and in uh, in first year for sure. Like, you know, I, I love painting and so it would be cool to go that route for sure. And some people were making some awesome work there at the time, but uh, I just kind of figured that Something with a more commercial application would be a little bit better as a career path. And of course, I love things like like graphic design is interesting to me as well, right? Seeing seeing some of the the greats in terms of like really high end 
graphic design is is really awesome so it certainly is something that attracted me to it as well not just being able to cash a paycheck but uh, the actual work itself as well yeah i think uh with acad it's like uh the, you definitely learn a ton on the job of course right like doing things and actually having to do things to get things done there's there's not really any uh substitute for that but it is nice to to sort of have a a foundation like that i think like it helps you even when you're learning new things when you're working like it helps you organize that information right like to to know what to apply and what not to right or like you know oh i can you know i can use this piece to you know in this way and uh it makes i think makes learning on the job afterwards a little bit more efficient and a little bit more uh, or less painful, I suppose. So, I don't know. That's my unscientific uh, theory anyways. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I struggle with it because I don't have as much of a structure, I think, because it's like, okay, so like, I can explore anything. Like, I don't have to do anything. I can... You know like what's interesting and like there's just too much and i want to experiment so much that i don't know where to start but at the same time like that is kind of what is attractive about doing art when you're you know on your own as an adult right doing your own thing and that pressure to just to to be a certain way is is gone and I think that's the kind of artwork that I gravitate towards in terms of like looking at artwork too and like and, and appreciating artwork is I like the stuff that doesn't seem to have well I was going to say doesn't seem to have a purpose but that's not quite accurate um, that's more about the process and like the pro the purpose being making art and being creative as opposed to depicting something accurately or you know or making something for a client or you know like designing something that would go on a wall somewhere one of my big like artistic media i would say i guess that i consume is i really like juxtapose magazine because i mean juxtapose has a lot of counterculture stuff incorporated in it right like it's they do a lot of graffiti and things like that and i i appreciate graffiti but i really appreciate graffiti in fact but um my absolute favorite pieces in those uh in juxtapose seem to be the people that don't care about being an artist they just feel the need to go make something and then they go you know it's not about what pieces am i going to have in my next show it's about I'm going to go out in my shed and make something weird just because it's fun. And that stuff seems to speak to me more than a lot of the other work that's out there, you know, even though, you know, there's impressive art in all sorts of different genres and such. But um, and sometimes the stuff that people are making in their sheds isn't the most technically accomplished. But again, there's something about the the honesty of that kind of work where it's just something that they have inside of them that they've got to get out and they go and do that it's uh i just find it really refreshing to look at and like even if it's super weird i can i can appreciate it or you know uh accept it mm -hmm. 